The play starts off with two sets of brothers who are in conflict with each other. So you've got Duke Frederick and Duke Senior. Duke Frederick has banished Duke Senior to the Forest of Arden. And you've got Oliver and Orlando. And uh, the opening scene is Oliver um, telling Ada, his servant, how upset he is about the fact that his brother has left him with barely any money and no education. So the first little bit of the play you set in the car. The beginning of the play, which is very strict and sort of dominant and, 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 and very uh, like by today's societal standards, you know what I mean, there's a good parallel. When we look at the court, the court, in my opinion, kind of represents the world we are set in right now. Everything is ruled and looked at heavily and kind of criticised and managed very closely and in detail. And they come from like court life into this new world that is so extraordinary and so bizarre and they meet a load of different people and then and then we go into the forest of Arden and then we follow through the forest and meet different characters in the forest everyone gets their sort of little turn it's a bit like a sketch show you've got all these different characters in there and their individual stories and then the overall story it centers the love story between Rosalind and Orlando as they go into the forest of Arden and discover themselves or who they are. And also, it's nuts. Yeah. It's really yeah. nuts. It's absolutely When you ask us what it's about, it's about loads and loads of things, but at the same time, it's... It's mainly about love. It's about love. And all the different many forms that it comes yeah, in. Yeah, and trees. About trees. Trees. <laughs> trees, definitely. Yeah. And self-expression, I guess. It's, I yeah. think it explores heavily a lot of themes of how we express our, ourselves, whether we're alone, we're in love, or just be, even in a family kind of um, relationships. It's got like a flavour of everything. Um, it's got a bit of chaos. Um, a lot of love within the play with the couples, but it's also got lots of moments when we were reading it. One of the things that came out to me, like you know, really big like, themes like loyalty and respect and care, um, and there's just moments of that within the play, um, as well as being really funny. So I think it's just got a bit of everything. Life is most jolly, then hey.